Welcome back to the Crypto Wild channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is experiencing a major divergence between the price action and the price oscillators. We are also forming some brand new patterns on the chart that we need to be paying attention to, all while Bitcoin is still sitting in extreme fear. I'll be covering all of that and more in this video, so definitely stick around all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, you might as well leave a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of this year. And with all of your support, I think we can achieve that. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. It's right here on the Bitcoin US dollar charts on the six hour time frame. And first of all, this line of support is that bullish divergence that I've been talking about over the past few days on the channel. Of course, seeing lower lows in the Bitcoin price, but higher lows in the Bitcoin RSI on the six hour chart. This is also visible on other time frames like the four hour chart and the 12 hour chart. But with the recent rejection that we've just got over the past one day, the Bitcoin price has now revealed a very obvious line of resistance in the shorter term, which is of course this descending line of resistance, which is creating a descending parallel channel in the Bitcoin price action. So technically speaking, in the shorter term, yes, we are in a short term downtrend, making lower highs and lower lows. And at the time of filming this video, we haven't confirmed a new uptrend in the short term just yet. But if you're looking at the larger time frames, like the weekly and monthly chart, that is a different story because we're still in an uptrend on this much larger time frames. But while we're here on the smaller time frames, looking at the immediate short term, yes, we are still technically in a short term downtrend, as I just mentioned, but the price action and the price oscillators are diverging. And we've already been talking about the bullish divergence, which is the lower lows in the price action and the higher lows in the RSI. But when we see lower highs in the price action and higher highs in the RSI, that is a form of bearish divergence, but it's not a regular bearish divergence. This is known as a hidden bearish divergence or a weak bearish divergence, which as you might have already guessed, is not as strong as a regular bearish divergence. A regular bearish divergence is when we see higher highs in the price action and lower highs in the RSI. And so when you consider these two types of divergences that we're seeing right now, the hidden bearish divergences, also known as a weak bearish divergence, combined with a regular bullish divergence, a strong bullish divergence, obviously the stronger divergence, the bullish divergence outweighs the weaker divergence, the hidden bearish divergence that we're seeing right now. So overall, this type of divergence is leaning more bullish. And if I haven't said divergence, enough already. Of course, we're seeing this in the MACD as well. On the six hour time frame, the MACD is trending to the upside, while of course the price action is trending to the downside. So what does this mean for Bitcoin? Well, it means that it's very likely that Bitcoin is about to experience reduced selling pressure in the shorter term, potentially within the next couple of weeks, considering the size of this divergence. It has been going on for around a week and a half. And so that just means that one of the most likely scenarios for Bitcoin over the next couple of weeks is either a strong sideways consolidation or perhaps a slight move back to the upside because that's exactly what reduced selling pressure means and it's basically a signal that the bulls are beginning to regain control over the market but we're not there just yet. We haven't confirmed a short-term uptrend just yet but these are the type of early signs that we see before an uptrend can form. Now talking about possible patterns forming for Bitcoin right now, we actually have this descending triangle pattern on the four hour time frame. Now it's not a perfect descending triangle pattern, mainly in the line of support just here. We really need to be using a price range instead of a particular line because in this example, when we use one particular line of support, we're either forced to miss out on some of the touch points right here or cut off some price action to the downside. So this range of support that I've got here is coming in between 46 and a half thousand and 47,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. And this descending line of resistance is the same line of resistance that we were just talking about. And that is right now coming in at around 49,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. Now, usually descending triangle patterns are known to be bearish patterns. And that is just because seven times out of 10, when we see this pattern, it breaks to the downside and about three times out of 10, it breaks to the upside. So it's not impossible for it to break to the upside. It just simply has a higher probability of breaking to the downside. But really one of the most profitable strategies around these triangle patterns is just to wait for a break below support or above resistance before we can activate the price target for this pattern and checking out the technical price target for this pattern. If Bitcoin sees a confirmed break below all of this range of support right here, then technically speaking, the price target for this pattern is coming in at around 40 2,000 US dollars per Bitcoin, which is the bottom of that original flash cash to the downside where we have already confirmed major support. But if we begin to break above resistance, above 49,000 with confirmation, then the technical price target to the upside is coming in at just above 53,000, closer towards 54,000 actually. And from where we are right now to the apex of this triangle pattern, that is around one week from now. So basically within the next one week, we should see Bitcoin make its decision. But one thing to consider right now is the fact that Bitcoin is still sitting in 
extreme fear, even though the price action hasn't really done anything at all over the past two weeks. This chart just here is the Bitcoin US dollar charts on the daily time frame, and these green areas on the charts represent the time periods where the Bitcoin fear and greed index was sitting in extreme fear. The subscribers on this channel would already know about this chart because I have covered it in recent Bitcoin update videos, but for the brand new viewers on the channel, you can clearly see that the times that we were sitting in extreme fear worked out to be amazing buying opportunities for the longer term, talking about the next few months. Combine that with the fact that the Bitcoin RSI on the daily time frame reached a bottom just last week, hitting into oversold territories for the first time since the crash that we saw back in May, so around half a year ago. Also, we are getting very close to a bullish cross. I did mention yesterday that we are potentially about to see that bullish cross, but I said we need to see a daily candle close for Bitcoin in the green to confirm that bullish cross, and that did not play out yesterday. So basically, we need to see more sideways price action or perhaps a small bounce to the upside in the immediate short term in order to confirm a bullish cross here. If we see any continued immediate bearish price action, that will simply continue to delay that bullish cross in the daily MACD. But either way, when you're looking at the price oscillators, so the RSI and the MACD, there's no denying that right now we are in a very similar situation to what we were looking like back at the end of September and also back during May and June, where essentially the price oscillators became oversold. We had already seen a major move to the downside and Bitcoin during those stages, while we were seeing that in the price oscillators and also while the Bitcoin market was sitting in extreme fear, they were all of the signals that we needed to help confirm that the bottom was forming and that the room left to the downside for the Bitcoin price action is very limited compared to the potential room to the upside in the coming months. So when I'm taking all of that information into consideration, my personal Bitcoin strategy is to simply dollar cost average into Bitcoin right now. I want to make it clear that that is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy into Bitcoin. I'm just revealing my personal Bitcoin strategy and what I'm seeing on the charts. And as always, it's important to do your own research when it comes to making decisions in the market. Now, staying on the daily time frame for Bitcoin, what we have here is obviously a descending line of resistance on the larger time frame. Right now, coming in at around fifty-one thousand US dollars per Bitcoin. And as I've been mentioning over the past couple of days this can also be seen as a bump and run reversal pattern, which is a three-stage reversal pattern. We've got the leading phase, and then we've got the bump and the run back to the upside after we get above this point of resistance. So right now, we are in the second phase of this pattern, and the third phase does not get confirmed until we see a confirmed break above this point of resistance. And what we also have here is the 55-week simple moving average, which is this red line right here, coming in at just above 45,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. In the immediate short term, this is is currently providing support for the Bitcoin price. And by the way, this is the exact same moving average that Bitcoin bottomed out at during July. Looking in the VP VR indicator, we've also got a major spike in volume coming in at around 47 to 49K as well, showing a decent amount of support and resistance in around this price range. And so once we start getting above around 50,000 US dollars approximately, the resistance according to the VP VR indicator begins to drop off, at least until Bitcoin starts reaching prices up towards around 55 to 56,000. And so it's really really important for Bitcoin to hold above these levels because you can also see in the VPVR indicator that this major cluster of volume begins to drop off to the downside, showing us that we have some huge support right now. But on the other side of this moving average, we don't necessarily have a lot of support until we start reaching prices like 42K and 40,000 US dollars. The Bitcoin order books also back up this technical analysis, taking a look at the buy orders to the downside. We have a significant amount of buy orders coming in at around 45,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. But really this big chunk of buy orders begins to ramp up at just underneath 46,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. More specifically at around 45.8K is where a lot of buy orders are coming into play. And that big chunk of buy orders is going all the way down towards around 44,500. So in between 44,500K and around 46K in that price range right there, we've got a huge amount of buy orders, which will be acting as major support for the Bitcoin price. And looking in the sell orders in comparison to the buy orders is really not as much resistance left to the upside compared to the amount of support that we have to the downside. So obviously this is a great sign to see for the Bitcoin bulls out there. And once again, these buy orders are also backing up the technical analysis that we just talked about. And for extra free crypto content and real-time updates on the crypto market, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter. And the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you do not miss out on any of these important update videos that I post every Every single day. And before you click off, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already, especially for the brand new viewers on the channel, because these videos just here can potentially help you make a lot more money in the crypto markets. But that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.